If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another week of Team of the Week predictions, week 26 I believe. Uh, there are a lot of cards this week to talk about, as there are every week, but the majority of them are, I would say, fairly low rated. There aren't some really nice looking low rated cards in there, Cooper being the only silver, two goals, one assist, man of the match award, 3-0 win for Plymouth. Uh, that's, of course, either a left back or a left wing back, he's normally a left mid, so take that with a pinch of salt, I don't really know which one. Uh, they will uh, they will choose Jimenez there as a camp. Not a great looking card. One goal, one assist. EA will do whatever EA want with these cards. They may decide to just take, I don't know, a handful of the 70-ish rated cards and then just throw in a load of high rated cards just to give people a better chance of getting a player pick, for instance. Smith uh, with a hat trick in a 3-0 win for Millwall. A uh, bit of a, an unprecedented win there. I think they beat Nottingham Forest, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but... When I say that, I mean, obviously, they want to sell packs as well. It's EA. They often pluck high-rated cards out of their backside. And cards like this for Junior, or ju Junior? No, Junior. He's got a hat-trick of assists in a 4-2 win. Uh, that's not a desirable card, right? Unless you're a fan of, uh, is it Heracles? Unless you're a fan of them, you're not really going to care about this card. Or, indeed, maybe this one, uh, Bonifazi of Spal. He got, uh, well, he didn't do anything specific, but he did keep a clean sheet and he was crowned man of the match in a 1-0 win for Spal. Not necessarily a game they were expected to win. I think they played Palmer away from home. But of course, the Italian games are being played behind closed doors. So there isn't a crowd to help the home teams. Opara with 86 pace and uh, good physicals there. Two goals for him in a 5-2 win. Of course, the MLS back in full swing now. That is normally a card people tend to, to flock to, but I'm not quite sure whether it will be uh, this time round. Trincao, of course, he's on loan, isn't he? Uh, didn't he move in uh, in January or was it even maybe the summer? I think it was January, but he's back on loan at Braga. Uh, he'll be much higher rated next year, but of course, uh, one goal, one assist for him. Basham, I may be clutching at straws here, but I needed defenders. Basham kept a clean sheet. He was also crowned man of the match in Sheffield United's 1-0 win. They have done so well this season. Even if they were to lose every single game between now and the end of the year, or end of the season, I should say. They've done so well. Oscar Rodriguez, currently on loan from Real Madrid. They could probably do with him, actually, because as I'm filming this, they're struggling against Real Betis. Uh, but uh, he's got two goals for a struggle in Leganas in a 2-1 win. Of course, they lost Braithwaite, so he's managed to step up into his shoes. Griffiths of Celtic with a hat-trick in a 5-0 win. I would love to see EA deny him this card because they hate the Scottish League. Unless you score 28 goals in one game, they just don't give you the inform. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see whether they actually give him the inform or not. Demba Bar has been uh, making some funnies on Twitter this week. He's also been scoring some goals, or rather a goal. He got one goal and two assists in a Turkish League game that finished 3-0 for his side, Istanbul. Doesn't look like a great card, but still uh, worthy. Paulinho. Not really seen an awful lot of him since uh, since he was sort of touted as the next big thing. But he has popped up in a game for Leverkusen with uh, two goals and one assist in a 4-0 win. He's burst onto the scene, much like um, Palacios did last week or the week before. De Silva of Brentford. I think he's already got a special card. He could be up for a second. He's got two goals and a 5-0 win. That is starting to look like a really good card. For an 81 as well, I wouldn't be surprised if EA dulled that down a little bit. Maybe took away a few of the, the dribbling stats or the physical stats. Uh, Coop Miners probably said that completely wrong, but it sounds great. So uh, he's got two goals and a man of the match award. He, I think he's normally a CDM, but uh, he played centre-back. He actually got subbed off as well. So I'm hoping that's not going to go against him. That does look like a fairly decent card, considering we don't get many good ones from that league. Georges Mia, maybe? Uh, of Cologne. Two potential Cologne players this week. He got himself a goal from centre-back in a 2-1 win. So that, uh, I mean, that should be enough. But there is another player worth mentioning from Cologne in just a second. Cordoba. I'd like to not see this guy. I think, um, is, it, uh, is it Garcia of Atletico Bilbao who could potentially get it instead of him? But uh, Cordoba with one goal, one assist in a 4-1 win seems the more logical. But... Um, 
he's a league SPC card, so I just don't see the point. Tate up next with one goal and two assists for Stade Rennais in an unprecedented 5-0 win over Montpellier. That is a massive result because Montpellier are on a good run. Uh, so is Stade Rennais, of course, but still, 5-0 is, is very impressive. Tate there. Uh, doing his best and of course Barkley has popped up with two assists for Chelsea also picked up man of the match award 2-0 win over Everton that is a um, pretty convincing performance there really from Chelsea and Barkley stepping up into his potential because he's not really been doing that well this season in terms of uh, FIFA anyway Griffo up next with uh, two assists in a 3-1 win for Freiburg I mean I wouldn't say it's a game they weren't ex expected to win but um He's popped up and done really well there. Fair play to him. Uh, not a great card, if I'm honest. But still, Uth is the other player, of course, from uh, Cologne. He is a striker normally, but I think he played more of a cam slash centre forward role. But, I mean, either way, it's a central card, right? Two assists in a 2-1 win for him. Uh, but uh, if he does get it, expect to see him maybe a little bit further down. Jose Font, or Jose Font, with a clean sheet and a 1-0 win over Leon. Of course, not a great-looking card. And uh, we are sort of into the, I would say, well, we're we're over the midway point, that's for damn sure. But we're into the back end of it now. We've only really hit 83 rated cards. Real Betis have managed to beat Real Madrid. I think it was two goals to one in the end. Uh, we could go for Sydney, the defender. And I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. He got a goal in that game that finished 2-1, of course. Um, Christian Tello got a goal in that game as well, but he did come on as a sub in the 66th minute, so would, I would be very surprised to see him get the inform. And of course, Nabil Fekir has got the assist to Sydney's opening goal. So they could go for either one. Fekir would be a high-rated choice. Sydney would be a defensive choice, and they need both in this week's Team of the Week, so it is quite literally... Um, I just, I, I've got no idea. It's what EA decide on the day, I guess. It's, it's if they can pull some high-rated cards from absolutely nowhere, they will then go with Sydney. If they can't do that, then I think they'll go with Nabil Fekir, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. We are going to crank it up a little bit, though, with an 84. Blanco of uh, Celta Vigo managed uh, six saves and a clean sheet in a nil-nil draw. Uh, that is a, I mean, it's a, it's a good card, actually, considering, because the speed is quite high. And, of course, with a plus 10 from the basic, you're, you're looking at quite a good card. Juan Basaka uh, is one of two potential Manchester United players uh, in in contention for Team of the Week. He got he made eight tackles and uh, got crowned man of the match and, technically speaking, kept a clean sheet in a 2-0 win for Man United over Manchester City, which many Man United fans are pointing out has won Liverpool the league as if they hadn't won it already. But yeah, that's one of two. Aaron Ramsey has popped up with a goal in Juventus. 2-0 win again behind closed doors. It was a very surreal game to watch. It's just finished as I'm recording this. Uh, yeah, he got um, he got the one of two goals. Dybala's goal was better, I might add. Uh, there was a lot more to it. And it was a very impressive goal, but I just don't think they'll give it to Dybala for coming off the bench and scoring the winner. Well, I say the winner, but, you know, a goal in a 2-0 win. They'll give it to Ramsey, I'm sure. Tanic with... Uh, what did Tanic do? He got two goals. He was crowned man of the match, and Ajax won three goals to one. It wouldn't surprise me at all if they sort of bypassed him a little bit, but he does have a Team of the Year nominee card, which could sway them to maybe give it to someone else, but uh, I think they could do. Moving on to Leno now. Uh, this is an interesting one. We'll talk more about this on Wednesday, but uh, I've just put this in here because I couldn't think of another uh, goalkeeper. And Leno was, uh, I don't know, I think I've got a funny feeling, right? So basically, he's kept a clean sheet. He got given man of the match. Arsenal won 1-0. What's wrong with that, I hear you say? Well, there is a, a slight underlying problem. He only technically made one save. So if a goalkeeper makes one save in the entire game, is he really worthy of the inform? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, unless it was an absolute worldy of a save. Let me know what you think down below. Anthony Martial up next. This is the other Manchester United player in contention, of course. Uh, Juan Bissaka was the other one. Now, Martial scored the opener. A very clever Bruno Fernandes free kick. I'm pretty sure it's something that they've they've uh, tested in training and whatnot. I think I heard the commentators say that they were at a, a, a presser and they were training outside waiting for the players to come in to do the press conference and they wouldn't let them watch them train. So there must have been something secret going on there. But I, I, I think Martial 
hasn't quite done enough. I, I would want to see it go to Juan Bissaka. More than anything, I think Edison probably should have saved it. So Juan Bissaka has at least had a very good game throughout. So there we go. Thiago, very briefly, we'll talk about him. He basically got man of the match in a 2-0 win for Bayern Munich. He got subbed off before the end of the game as well. But uh, you know what EA are like. They need high-rated cards. So why not, right? I mean, I wouldn't be against it. He has deserved it in previous weeks, but they've not given it to him. So... I'll let them off if they do give it to him. Mane up next, and our final player, incidentally, with one goal and one assist in a 2-1 win for Liverpool over Bournemouth. It wasn't really a game that many thought Liverpool would lose, but for them, they have been on a slight rocky run of form, I would say. Um, what did they, they lose? They, they lost to Watford, they lost to Atletico. You know, two games for them, it's, it's not, not good. But no, they've turned it around now, they've won the game, and uh, I think Mane obviously got two goal contributions. They, I can't really see why they won't give it to him. Uh, it's a high-rated card. This team of the week is in desperate need of some high-rated cards. So there we go. Now, I wouldn't be surprised to see EA throw other high-rated cards in there just for the sake of it. We'll have a discussion about that on Wednesday. I'm not going to moan too much about it between now and the end of the season, actually, because what I want to see is a complete overhaul to Team of the Week. I'm not going to sit here and outlay my plans for it. Maybe I'll do that in August or something, but... Um, it would be nice to see EA just completely change the entire game, really, with regards to reward structures and the way that Team of the Weeks are um, are picked. You know, because some of the players here, yeah, they deserve to be there, but they are useless in game. No one outside of fans of the club are going to want to buy them, and even the fans are going to buy them and stick them on the bench just for the sake of it. They're not actually going to use them. So it would be interesting to see a complete overhaul to Team of the Week. So from now until the end of this cycle, I'm not going to moan too much if EA pick out players that don't deserve to be there. We'll have a healthy discussion about it on Wednesday. Let me know if you think I've missed anybody out in the comments section down below. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.